So remember, three fatty acids and glycerol, if you were here last semester with biochemistry and the intro to biochemistry, so you make a triglyceride. That's why it's triglyceride, because you have three fatty acids. And they also metabolize excess lipids. And how do they do that? Well, hepatocytes also make cholesterol, so you can get cholesterol from your diet, but your body can also produce cholesterol as well. And why is it important that they produce cholesterol? Well, your liver can make something called bile acids. And what do bile acids do? Well, bile acids, well, you, obviously they're going to be, they're related to bile, right? So bile acids, notice that they kind of look like cholesterol, but they have a little, and I don't expect you to know all of this. This is more about organic chemistry and biochemistry. But cholic acids and bile acids, they have a cholesterol overall structure, but it's slightly modified by the liver to make something that's part lipid and also has all these hydrophilic components. So they're made from cholesterol, but they're amphipathic, meaning that they're both hydrophobic and hydrophilic in certain areas. This yellow part right here is hydrophobic, but these parts, the red parts and the green parts, these are hydrophilic. So what they do is that the bile acids are able to take fat globules and they're kind of like your body's own detergents. What they're able to do is mix in with the fat globules, just like how if you have a really greasy pan and you have all the oil slick, you add your detergent and it kind of disperses all those fat droplets. That's kind of like what bile acids do. They help to break up the fat globules you that you that result from chemical digestion and your your food. So I like to think of them like emulsifiers, like the ones like if you had like these salad dressings, sometimes they kind of crack and separate into their oil and water parts, but some of them don't actually separate like that. And why is that? Because they have something that's a what we call emulsifiers that help why hydrophilic and hydrophobic things mix evenly in a colloid. So what they do is form micelles, and micelles are these little, like, so if you remember our phospholipids from the plasma membrane and our cell membranes, these bile acids kind of form this part. So the inside is hydrophobic, but the outside is hydrophilic. So this is how your bile acids produced by your hepatocytes are able to break up big fat globules from your diet into smaller particles as well. Now, bile acids obviously are related to bile, and they're a big component of bile. But where does bile go now? And so it's going to go from these, these bile canaliculi. These are very small cana canals that connect to this com these bile ducts. And then this bile duct, this common bile duct, is going to collect all the bile acids and bile produced by your liver and put them down a common duct. So this is what we call the common bile duct, and that's that tube we saw running here to the duodenum. So what we have here is that we have bile and pancreatic juices mixing here in the duodenum. Now remember that we have to kind of look underneath and toward the back of the liver to see the gallbladder, and this is the gallbladder over here. So common misconception, what organ produces bile in the body? Uh, the most, I think the most common wrong answer is gallbladder. Is the gallbladder, in it, does that mean it's not involved in bile altogether? It's actually more of like a storage area for bile. So the, what happens is that some of this bile that's produced by the liver can be stored in the gallbladder. And if you have a very fatty meal, again, remember that bile acids help to break up fats. Your gallbladder can contract and do a little squirt of extra bile that helps to digest and helps to dissolve fat globules so you have an easier time di digesting fats. So yeah, that's what the gallbladder is. It's kind of a storage area. Again, common misconception is not where you actually synthesize bile acids. It's more of a storage area in case you need to want to build up bile for when you have a really, really rich and fatty meal. All right, so then we have the bile and pancreatic juices mixing together, and they go here, at, they converge, at least the main pancreatic duct and the common bile duct, they come here together here at the hepatopancreatic sphincter, and then you have duodenal ampulla, so this kind of allows, a, it's kind of like a little squirt nozzle. So we have a mixture of both bile and pancreatic juices, so when you, 
your, your stomach is done digesting, it opens its pyloric sphincter and dumps that chyme into the duodenum. Now you can get an uh, additional squirt of bile and pancreatic juices that help to chemically break apart particles from the, in the chyme and also add enzymes that help with chemical digestion.